Hey, I thought I'd uh, do a video to help you with the Citrix Receiver. Uh, basically, Citrix Receiver is uh, the tool that you'll use to access your applications that you have there in the office. Uh, applications like Computeries, Bidwinner, Microsoft Office, um, those suite of apps that you use on a daily basis, and also access to your um, Sparky DriveShare can be available on your home machines, on your laptops, on your iPads, on your Androids, whatever device you want to use, um, you can get to those apps. So here's the here's the simple um, instructions. Now I'm using um, a preview of Windows 10, um, but the nice thing is, is whether if you're on a Mac or a PC, it really doesn't matter. The instructions are essentially the same. So uh, you're seeing Windows 10 for kind of the well, maybe for the first time. It's for the first time for me. So uh, we'll just figure this out together and um, uh, we'll see what happens. So the first thing you need to do is open up your your browser. Um, I'm using Spartan, which is um, the new um, browser in Windows 10. It's codenamed Spartan right now, and when it's released, I guess it's going to be called Edge. Um, and the big deal with this new version of Explorer, and I know I'm kind of going on a tangent, but in case you want to see it, is it gives you the ability to um, do screenshots and annotate on your web page and then save those so that's that's kinda cool and then there's a whole bunch of other things but um, that's the big feature that everybody's talking about well, anyway on on your computer whether whether it's a Mac or a Windows machine um, basically you just go to um, and I'll have links um, below so just look right below this video and, and you'll see the links but um, if you're on a, a PC or Mac, it, it basically is citrix.com forward slash go slash receiver. And you'll see some shortcut links that I've given you that you can get there pretty quickly and easily. Um, you can also get to this link um, or this application on your on the on the Google Play Store, and there's a link below for that, and also on the um, iTunes Store or uh, iCloud Store, whatever you call it in Apple's world. Um, you can get to those links uh, below as well. So anyway, um, once you get there, just download the receiver. Um, this website is pretty cool because it I, it senses what device you're coming from, whether it's a Windows device or a Mac device, and um, it'll give you the version that you need. So um, my Citrix receiver is downloading now, and um, uh, I'll fast forward after it's installed. All right, well, I'm back. Um, we're about at 100%, so the client has uh, completed its install. So basically, I'm just going to run the install. So just like on a um, Windows 7 machine, um, Windows XP machine, or just follow the same instructions on a Mac, you just double-click on the icon. And uh, the Citrix receiver downloads and installs. So we're going to go through the Citrix receiver setup. It's very simple. You just click Next, accept the license agreement. All right, and it looks like the receiver has installed successfully. And so what we're going to do at this point is add an account. And basically, we're going to tell the Citrix receiver how to connect to the server back at uh, your office. So um, I'm going to gray this out. Um, but uh, basically, uh, look um, in your help site um, right below this video. There's a, a link that uh, has a yellow background and um, black text there. That's going to identify your um, your uh, URL, your server address that you'll need to type in. Make sure you use HTTPS. So I'm going to type that in, and uh, then we'll uh, continue. Okay, so uh, we have our server address typed in, and then we'll click Next. And uh, once we uh, click Next, then it tells me that the account has been added successfully. So uh, once the account is added successfully, uh, we can close the uh, web browser and you'll notice on your computer it should um, bring up the Citrix receiver if it doesn't you'll just have to go down to your uh, start menu and locate the Citrix receiver and then type in the domain and your username so it's going to be uh, reliable backslash your username the same username that you use to log in, in, in into your network and then your network logon password will go into the password box so I'll let you type that in and then I'll be right back. 
All right, so we have our username and password uh, logged in. I'm using a username of Zen1, uh, but you all individually have your own usernames uh, if, you've, uh, or if you're on the list to uh, have access to Zen. So uh, type that in there and then uh, click Log On. And once uh, the server authenticates you, uh, over here to the left you have this um, plus. You can click to add apps. And then go up and select All Applications to show all applications that are available to you and um, then select the applications that you're interested in using and what this is going to do is when you select these applications it's going to add it to your start bar it's going to add it to your Windows desktop uh, on your uh, computer so um, let's say that I want to use a word from uh, the office I want to use Excel from the office I also want to be able to access uh, Zen app I'm um, sorry bid bid winner from the office computer ease from the office and uh, the Windows Explorer is your um, Sparky drive so you'll be able to see all of your network drive shares so we've added those um, applications here to your quick launch um, if you wanted to get rid of one you can just right click and then remove okay so now that we have our applications um, it may take I don't know maybe um, two to uh, five minutes for all of these applications to populate in your start bar but you'll notice uh, on my um, Windows 10 machine it'll look the same way on your Windows 7 machine or even on your um, iMac or iPad you'll begin to see um, these applications that are showing up um, in your uh, start bar so now that they're in your start bar we can launch computer ease just by clicking on this icon and this Citrix receiver application needs to stay installed on your computer but it no longer needs to open or be open anymore so um, we're opening up computer ease and it's making connection back to Reliable Electric, it's authenticating and then it presents the application just as if it's installed on your PC. So that's how that works. So when you're finished we just click cancel or the X and I'll show you again, we'll just launch this application. Go to all apps and we'll go to Citrix Zen apps. I don't have the Citrix client open remember so I'm clicking on that and that automatically opens up the Citrix receiver in the background it makes all of the connection information and then um, you have computer ease I don't have login credentials but uh, you have your own credentials you log in there and you'll be able to see um, your uh, computer ease data um, <clears throat> now the other nice thing about this and, and then I'll, uh, I'll let you have fun with this but um, now that's here in your start bar you can always right click and you can pin to your taskbar um, which puts it down here or you can always I know in uh, Windows 7 you can right click on this and say you know save to your desktop so um, you can uh, do that as well so uh, in Windows 10 we can pin it to our start which allows it to populate here but anyway those are shortcuts so now if I need to get to computer ease I can just click on my shortcut either on my desktop or my taskbar and now computer ease opens up and I can get to my information uh, from anywhere so it's pretty 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 useful um, one of the other issues or um, requests that was made so you know as you guys have issues and you, you like things added uh, please talk to Mike or Joe and, and uh, they'll, they'll get them to me but um, one of the things that everyone wanted was to be able to get to the um, Sparky Drive so what I clicked on is the Zenapp Windows Explorer and I may rename that to Zenapp Sparky that way it makes sense uh, to you um, but when you click on that it um, again makes a Citrix receiver connection and then gives you access to the Sparky Drives uh, there in the office so um, I think what you're used to is you know the data are there so you double click on that and um, you'll be able to see your data and, and, and manipulate your files um, and then when you're finished you just uh, click the X and off you go now remember this is the same as using a PC in the office so um, you know be careful with your deletes be careful with your drags and all that when you finish you want to make sure you log off and you secure your user account your logon account um, with your computer because you don't want anybody else coming behind you and uh, you know having access to company information well, anyway so that's what I got um, hopefully the video was helpful and um, turns out the Windows 10 is pretty cool I made it through this honestly I did that for the first time 
uh, right here um, to kind of took a chance with it and the thing didn't crash uh, I'm impressed I, I kind of like it 